Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cindy here with another video and today I will be showing you this quick little ponytail hack that I recently started doing. If you have thinner hair, this hairstyle is perfect for you because it will be super easy for you to conceal your real hair under the synthetic hair that we will be adding in. However, if you have thicker hair like I do, it is still doable and I'm going to show you all how I do this today. Uh, so I start off with detangled hair, dry detangled hair at that and then I'm just adding a little bit of water so that I could brush my hair and try to get it sleek back into this ponytail. I also started off with a middle part just because that's the look I was going for. However, you don't necessarily need to put a middle part if that's not the vibe that you are going for. Yeah, so and then I added a little bit of mousse again just to help me to sleek back my hair and to get my hair in a nice smooth ponytail. If you so wish, you could of course choose to put your hair in a high ponytail. Um, another thing that I want to say is I know that a lot of these ponytail videos already exist here on YouTube and this method is a little less foolproof than others that I have seen. And what I mean by that is these women on here, they are using track hair, they are braiding their natural hair, then they are going around their braid with that track hair ensuring that their natural hair will not be seen. This is a little less whip your hair back and fort worthy but it is cute it is simple it is cheap i mean i paid 15 dollars for the three packs of hair that i'm using in this video and i know i'm not getting any track here for 15 dollars so um enough said but anyway back to the video at hand y'all just saw that i used some wetland extreme gel to lay down my hair and now i am proceeding to braid my hair or braid the portion of hair that's left out of my ponytail i'm choosing to do two braids because my hair is at this weird length right now and i don't think i would have been able to pull off just one So after I'm done braiding my hair, I put the two braids in a bun. I try to get the bun as small as possible. This is super important because remember, you're going to need to hide that bun under and with the synthetic hair. This is the hair that I am using. I don't know too much about synthetic hair, braiding hair, or weaves, anything of that sort, to be honest. But if I can find this online, I will link it in the description box below. It also didn't have the length on the pack, so I'm sorry. However, I am using the color one, which is supposedly jet black. As mentioned earlier, I did purchase three packs of this hair and I ended up using two and a half packs to achieve this hairstyle. I could have easily used the entire three packs, but I just think maybe the ponytail would have been a little bit too thick or heavy. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so here I am just putting all the hair together. Once I had the amount of hair that I knew I wanted to use, I grabbed a hair scrunchie and I proceeded to tie the bunch of hair together. I, I hope this is easy to understand. You guys could see what I'm doing here. And this is super important to ensure that when you put on your ponytail, the hair is not separating or going all in their own direction. So ladies, you want to ensure that your ponytail is nice and snug around your bun. These little gold bands that came with the synthetic hair, just do not cut it because I have a thick bun and I can't wrap the little gold bands more than once around my bun. So I decided to secure the gold bands or the ponytail with a hair scrunchie. If you feel that a hair scrunchie alone is not enough, then go ahead and add bobby pins as well. Just ensure that it's nice and secure. Here I'm adding another small portion of hair to my bun and I'll use this to wrap around my ponytail to conceal my hair ties, bobby pins, and also to conceal my bun. Um, adding this extra hair is optional because I could have just used a section from the thicker portion of hair that I added. However, I didn't want to take away from the overall thickness of my ponytail. Thank you. 
Ladies, I apologize for this random clip, but this part of my original video was completely out of focus. So here I am the next day in the middle of editing this video, trying to show you all what I did after I was done re-smoothing my hair. In a nutshell, I just pressed down on the top of my ponytail to bring it as close to my scalp as possible. And then I added bobby pins to pin the hair in place. This creates a more natural look so it doesn't look like your ponytail is far from your head because that's not cute and also it again helps to conceal your bun. Totally off topic, but can someone send Belize the memo that it is currently fall? We are getting 98 and 100 degree weather. I was sweating my butt off making this video. Please send a cold front. After I am done wrapping the portion of synthetic hair that I left out around my bun and my ponytail and I feel like everything is nice and secure, I go in really quick with my wide tooth comb to ensure that my ponytail doesn't have any knots and then I proceed to add bobby pins. This is really important especially if you have thicker hair like I do because this is going to help for the hair to not move all over the place and your bun to be showing. So to elaborate, what I'm doing is I am using mid-sections of the ponytail or the synthetic hair and I am pinning some of the synthetic hair to my bun. And this is just an added step to try to conceal the bun so that when I'm walking around, I move my head, things like that, you're not automatically um, going to see my bun because it is being covered by the synthetic hair. But anyways guys, that is it for this video. If you're going to give this a try, let me know how it worked out or didn't work out for you in the comment section down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a great big thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!